Hi, it's Jennifer Marks and Warren Schulberg at Home Textiles today, and we are here at the Textiles Market in New York, and want to welcome you to it, and uh, welcome you to HTT uh, Video on the Air. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we, um, I think, uh, what's of interest is uh, is the mood of the general market. So, Jennifer, what are you seeing on the vendor side based on the previews you've been doing? Well, actually, I've been out previewing for a little over two weeks. Thank you, Walmart, for coming into market early and making everybody set up. Good stuff for us. I call the mood hopeful. Uh, a lot of people are telling us that they've got full schedules. Some of us, some of them are saying they're seeing new, potential new accounts. Others are seeing retailers they haven't seen since the recession hit because, you know, retailers winnowed down their vendor base and there's this sense that maybe they're feeling they need to get out and look and see what's new. That's what the that's what the vendors think. What are you what are you picking up in terms of what the retail mood is? Well what's kind of interesting I think uh, is that the uh, first sixty days of the year retail sales have been surprisingly strong and the comp numbers that we're seeing uh, pretty much across the board uh, from top to bottom are, are very encouraging. So that seems to be hopeful uh, that the stores are going to come in in a, in a better buying mood. Uh, some uh, curiosity and interest in a couple of particular uh, stores and uh, our print version of HTT talks yes. about that. Uh, yes. So make sure you pick that up. But uh, certainly there's a lot of interest in what's happening with uh, Kohl's with their uh, recent uh, flat retail sales. Uh, a lot of interest in JC Penney and, yes. and how this is the first market that they've come to town that is going to be um, uh, uh, where they've uh, come in with their new merchandising strategy. Yes. So um, a lot of interest on, on what's going on with that. So we'll see how that works and how that plays out. Well, you know what? I, I, we're also seeing some new faces, okay. which we haven't seen for a while. We're see and you know usually those are old faces with new companies, um, new showrooms. Also, some people spiffing up their showrooms. Uh, I just get this sense that people think, and you know, we talked about this in my text. This sense that there is some money to be made this year. It's not going to be easy to do, but people feel there are opportunities out there. That's what I'm getting. And we haven't seen vendors investing in their showrooms in a while, no. so that's encouraging, no. right? Right. Right, right, and um, so it's good, and we're going to keep doing this, and this is actually the first day of three. We'll be doing three videos from the market, um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so check our website. Our um, market issue came out today, yes? Oh, yes. And um, we'll have our market daily out on Tuesday, so be sure to pick that up in the showrooms, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye. Have a good market.